I advise that you listen carefully and pay close attention. I come to you as a harbinger of truth, tasked with breaking the shackles that have long imprisoned you. Today marks the moment of judgment for every falsehood your family has planted in your soul. What if the family you thought had your back is actually stabbing you in it? It's a chilling thought, but for many, it's a harsh reality. Brace yourself as we explore the dark underbelly of family dynamics, from narcissistic parents to golden child syndrome and beyond. Family. It's supposed to be our safe haven, our unconditional support system. We're fed this idyllic image of a nurturing environment where love flows freely and acceptance is a given. But what happens when this picturesque scene is nothing more than a carefully constructed illusion? Behind closed doors, many families harbor a sinister reality that's a far cry from the loving image they project to the world. It's a world where love comes with strings attached, where affection is a currency to be earned rather than freely given. The smiling family portraits that adorn the walls become grotesque masks, hiding the pain and dysfunction that festers beneath. The signs are often subtle at first. Maybe it's the backhanded compliments that leave you feeling small and insignificant. Or perhaps it's the constant comparison to siblings or cousins, always leaving you feeling like you're not quite good enough. You might find yourself walking on eggshells, carefully weighing every word and action to avoid triggering an emotional landmine. As time goes on, the cracks in the facade become more apparent. Family gatherings become battlegrounds of passive-aggressive comments and thinly-veiled insults. Your achievements are downplayed or ignored, while your mistakes are magnified and used as weapons against you. The unconditional love you were promised feels more like a bait-and-switch, with affection doled out only when you conform to their expectations. You start to notice the inconsistencies between your family's public persona and their private behavior. To the outside world, they're the picture of unity and support. But behind closed doors, it's a different story altogether. The warm smiles turn cold, the encouraging words become criticism, and the supportive touches feel more like chains. This disconnect between expectation and reality can be profoundly disorienting. You're left questioning your own perceptions, wondering if you're the problem. After all, how can a family that looks so perfect from the outside be so toxic on the inside? It's a cognitive dissonance that can eat away at your self-esteem and sense of reality. But here's the truth. You're not crazy. You're not overreacting. What you're experiencing is the ugly reality of a family system that prioritizes appearance over authenticity, control over love. Recognizing this truth is the first step in breaking free from the toxic cycle and reclaiming your sense of self. At the heart of many dysfunctional families lies a figure both revered and feared, the narcissistic parent. Like a spider at the center of a web, they manipulate and control, weaving a complex tapestry of emotional abuse that can take a lifetime to unravel. Narcissistic parents are masters of illusion. To the outside world, they often appear charming, successful, and deeply invested in their children's lives. They may boast about their children's accomplishments as if they were their own, basking in the reflected glory. But this apparent pride is nothing more than a mask, concealing a deep-seated need for control and admiration. Behind closed doors, the true face of the narcissistic parent emerges. They demand constant attention and adoration, treating their children as extensions of themselves rather than individuals with their own needs and desires. Any deviation from their expectations is met with swift and often cruel punishment, ranging from icy silence to explosive rage. One of the most insidious traits of narcissistic parents is their ability to gaslight their children. They rewrite history, deny wrongdoing, and manipulate reality to maintain their image of perfection. I never said that, they'll insist, even when you have clear memories of their hurtful words. You're too sensitive, they'll scoff dismissing your pain and invalidating your emotions. The impact on family dynamics is profound and far-reaching. Siblings may find themselves pitted against each other, competing for the scraps of affection the narcissistic parent deigns to offer. One child may be elevated to the status of golden child, 
while another is cast in the role of scapegoat, bearing the brunt of the family's dysfunction. Children of narcissistic parents often grow up with a distorted sense of self. They may struggle with low self-esteem, difficulty setting boundaries, and a deep-seated fear of abandonment. The constant need to earn love and approval can lead to perfectionism and an unhealthy drive to achieve, always striving to fill the bottomless pit of the narcissistic parent's need for validation. Unmasking the narcissistic parent is a painful but necessary step in healing. It requires courage to see past the carefully crafted image and acknowledge the harm that's been done. But in doing so, you reclaim your narrative and open the door to genuine self-love and healthy relationships. In the twisted fairy tale of toxic families, the golden child plays a starring role. This chosen one basks in the glow of parental approval, showered with praise and privileges. But make no mistake, this golden pedestal is as precarious as it is poisonous. The golden child is typically the family member who best reflects the narcissistic parent's desired image. They may be the most academically successful, the most athletically gifted, or simply the most compliant. Whatever the criteria, they are elevated above their siblings, creating a toxic hierarchy within the family unit. At first glance, being the golden child might seem like a dream come true. Who wouldn't want to be the favorite, the one who can do no wrong in their parents' eyes? But this apparent advantage comes at a steep cost. The golden child's sense of self becomes inextricably linked to their ability to meet their parents' expectations. Their own desires and aspirations are subsumed by the need to maintain their elevated status. The pressure to perform and conform can be crushing, the golden child lives in constant fear of disappointing their parents and losing their favored position. This can lead to intense anxiety, perfectionism, and a crippling fear of failure. Their self-worth becomes entirely dependent on external validation, leaving them emotionally stunted and ill-equipped to handle life's inevitable setbacks. Meanwhile, the impact on sibling relationships can be devastating. The non-golden children may feel a toxic mix of resentment towards their favored sibling and desperation to earn the same level of parental approval. This creates a breeding ground for rivalry, jealousy, and long-lasting emotional wounds that can persist well into adulthood. The golden child themselves may struggle with guilt over their favored status, especially if they're old enough to recognize the unfairness of the situation. This guilt, combined with the pressure to maintain their position, can lead to a profound sense of isolation. They may find it difficult to form genuine connections with their siblings or peers, always wondering if people like them for who they are or for the perfect image they project. Healing from golden child syndrome requires a painful reevaluation of one's place in the family and in the world. It involves learning to define success and worth on one's own terms rather than through the distorted lens of narcissistic parental expectations. It also requires rebuilding relationships with siblings, acknowledging the harm caused by the family's dysfunctional dynamics, and working towards genuine connection. In the toxic family ecosystem, where the golden child shines, a shadow must fall. Enter the scapegoat, the family member designated to bear the burden of blame, shame, and dysfunction. This role, while less outwardly appealing than that of the golden child, is no less damaging and carries its own unique set of long-term consequences. The family scapegoat is often the child who doesn't quite fit the mold. Perhaps they're more rebellious, more sensitive, or simply less willing to conform to the narcissistic parent's demands. Whatever the reason, they become the repository for all the family's negative projections. Every problem, Every failure, every imperfection within the family system is laid at their feet. This constant blame and criticism can have devastating effects on the scapegoat's psyche. They internalize the message that they are inherently flawed, unworthy of love and belonging. Their attempts to defend themselves or assert their own needs are met with gaslighting and further abuse, reinforcing the belief that they are the problem. The scapegoat often becomes the family truth teller, the one who sees through the facade and dares to name the dysfunction. This role, while crucial for maintaining sanity, comes at a high cost. They may be labeled as troublemakers, 
accused of being overly sensitive or of trying to tear the family apart. Their valid concerns and observations are dismissed, further isolating them within the family unit. As the scapegoat grows up, they may find themselves trapped in a cycle of self-sabotage and toxic relationships. The negative self-image instilled by years of family scapegoating can lead to a subconscious belief that they don't deserve happiness or success. They may be drawn to abusive partners or unfulfilling jobs, unconsciously recreating the familiar dynamics of their childhood. The long-term psychological impact of being the family scapegoat can be profound. Depression, anxiety, and complex PTSD are common among adult scapegoats. They may struggle with trust issues, finding it difficult to believe that anyone could truly love or accept them. Perfectionism is another common trait, as scapegoats often feel they must be beyond reproach to avoid criticism. Healing from the scapegoat role is a journey of reclaiming one's narrative and self-worth. It involves challenging the internalized negative beliefs, setting boundaries with toxic family members, and learning to trust one's own perceptions. Many scapegoats find that they need to create distance from their families of origin to break free from the dysfunctional patterns and begin to thrive. The path to healing from toxic family dynamics is deeply personal and often non-linear. It's a journey of rediscovering yourself, shedding the false narratives imposed upon you, and learning to trust your own perceptions and feelings. This process of healing and self-discovery is vital not just for your own well-being, but for breaking generational cycles of dysfunction. One of the first steps in healing is allowing yourself to feel the full range of emotions that may have been suppressed or invalidated within your family system. Anger, grief, fear, and even love can coexist as you process your experiences. Give yourself permission to feel without judgment. Journaling, art, or physical activities can be powerful outlets for these emotions. Challenging and reframing the negative beliefs instilled by your toxic family environment is crucial. You may have internalized messages about your worth, capabilities, or lovability that simply aren't true. Cognitive behavioral therapy techniques can be particularly helpful in identifying and restructuring these harmful thought patterns. Learning to set and maintain healthy boundaries is an ongoing part of the healing process. This involves recognizing your own needs and limits, communicating them clearly, and following through with consequences when boundaries are violated. It's about respecting yourself enough to say no to what doesn't serve you and yes to what nourishes your spirit. Self-care becomes not just a luxury, but a necessity. This goes beyond bubble baths and face masks, though those can certainly be part of it. True self-care involves listening to your body, honoring your emotional needs, and making choices that align with your values and well-being. It might mean saying no to commitments that drain you, seeking out activities that bring you joy, or simply allowing yourself time to rest and recharge. Reconnecting with your authentic self is a beautiful part of the healing journey. Free from the constraints of toxic family expectations, you have the opportunity to explore who you truly are. What are your passions? What brings you joy? What kind of life do you want to create for yourself? Allow yourself to dream and explore without the limiting beliefs imposed by your family. Forgiveness is often discussed in the context of healing, but it's important to approach this concept carefully. Forgiveness doesn't mean excusing abusive behavior or maintaining relationships with toxic individuals. Rather, it's about releasing the hold that anger and resentment have on you. This is a deeply personal process, and there's no timeline for when or if you should forgive. Building healthy relationships is both a challenge and a reward in healing from toxic family dynamics. You may need to relearn what healthy love and support look like. Be patient with yourself as you navigate new relationships, romantic or platonic. It's okay to take things slowly and to continuously reassess your comfort levels and boundaries. Remember that healing is not about becoming a perfect or unaffected person. It's about integrating your experiences into a fuller, more authentic version of yourself. Your past does not define you, but it has shaped you. The strength and resilience you've developed through your struggles are now tools for creating a life aligned with your true self. 
As you progress on your healing journey, you may find yourself drawn to help others who have experienced similar family dynamics. While this can be incredibly rewarding, make sure you're in a stable place in your own healing before taking on the role of supporting others. Your healing and growth remain the priority. The journey of unmasking your family's true colors and breaking free from toxic dynamics is undoubtedly challenging, but it's also incredibly empowering. You've taken the brave step of seeing beyond the facade of family love to recognize the harm that's been done. In doing so, you've opened the door to genuine healing and growth. 